Brian Lucy. Astrophysicist at the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory, as a mouthful for you, <laughs> have been studying radio waves from space since the 1950s, learning about how galaxies are formed. And the Cambridge University site is now home to a collection of radio telescopes built over more than 50 years ago. Stuart Lees has been to take a look. For almost 60 years, they've been pushing back the boundaries of the known universe. The Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory is home to the radio telescopes used by Cambridge University's Astrophysics Department. The 4C array, which is 450 metres long, was the first one built at Lord's Bridge near Cambridge in 1957. It's now one of a number of decommissioned telescopes at the site. I think it's not unfair to say that most of the fundamental work in how you image the radio sky using the technique that we call aperture synthesis, the way to make big telescopes out of little telescopes, that was all pioneered on this site. And nowadays, all of the very large telescope facilities, all the wonderful facilities, the VLA, ALMA and so forth, they use the same principles that were pioneered here. The observatory was built on a former bomb storage site next to what used to be the Cambridge to Bedford railway line. And you can still see the platform and station buildings and the old track bed. And that track bed is still used as part of the large array telescope which sits on rails stretching for over a kilometre. The Cavendish Astrophysics Group uses radio waves coming from space to study the formation of galaxies. When you look at things far away in astronomy, because of the travel time of light, you're actually looking backwards in time as well. So we're looking back uh, towards when these structures were actually formed, and we can use them to understand how matter evolved in the universe. The group is also at the forefront of technology with this prototype for a new radio telescope. We see 16 of them here, but there will be 130,000 in Australia. Um, so it's going to be the largest and most powerful radio instrument in the world. So compared to the uh, largest and, uh, radio instruments, instruments at the moment, we are talking about at least an order of magnitude. We are talking about 40, 50 times uh, more uh, sensitivity than uh, current instruments. So it's a, it's a significant increase. They're not looking for signs of extraterrestrial life. They're studying the life cycle of galaxies. at least ITV News at Lord's Bridge near Cambridge. I really feel that Roger Moore should be somewhere in there as well. Yeah. That feel of it, hasn't it? <laughs> um, let's talk weather back down to where a bit of a bang, isn't it? Because it's been quite frosty this morning, but grotty, isn't it? Tomorrow? I mean, it's not looking great. Rain? The bad weather only briefly. I mean, it will get better by